Hello boys and girls, this is Area with Magic and Tricks. In this tutorial we are going to talk about uh, how we can create the room element in the Revit. As the first, uh, if you like videos I make, please subscribe this channel, set the bell for all new notifications, uh, go to the Facebook and Instagram page, follow that, uh, and if you have some questions, uh, please um, be free to write below. Ok, now go to this tutorial. For this tutorial I uh, create some four plan for one house. And now we can create uh, the room element in Revit for uh, all of these rooms. Here in the architectural tab we have a room and area group. And we have uh, the room, room separator, tag room, area, area boundary and tag area. For now just go here to the room and click that. Now you can see Revit it's uh, set for us uh, the room tag. If I go here Revit automatically recognized uh, the all of the walls uh, in that room and they automatic place the boundary of uh, that room tag. Just go maybe here and click and now we create the room tag for this room. Just go here uh, again and set for all rooms our tag. Click here, also here and then click here. You can see here the Revit create our boundary uh, all over here. But uh, we want this is gonna be a one room and this is gonna be a second room tag uh, because this is a corridor and this is a maybe a living room or something like that. In this case we must create here the separation for that room tag. Go here again and you can see we have here a room separator. Click here and just create the line between these two walls from here to here. Now if I go to this room you can see that room is now only in this area and now we don't have the room tag in this place. Just go again to the room and set another room tag for this element. Ok, now what if we have something like this, some terraces without the walls. If I go here to the room, Revit don't recognize that element for area calculation. Go again to the room separator and now create the boundary here on the boundary of our terraces. Go here to the pick lines and just pick this three lines of our terraces. Now you can see that line it's gonna go uh, to here. I just click and drag that line to here. Now if we go to the room now we can create here the room tag and just click. Ok, how we can edit that? Just go and click here go with the mouse and when you have this across lines click on that and you can see in the properties we have the number, name and so long for our room. You can see here we have the base finish, ceiling finish, wall finish or the floor finish and that is all necessary elements for our calculation uh, in the room schedule. Just go here and set number maybe to 1 and rename this to maybe bedroom. Go to the apply. Elements have duplicate number value. Ok. 
Now you can see we have the bedroom and uh, the number of that room is a one. Also we can go here and rename that room to the maybe terrace. Or maybe go here and go to the number two and go to the corridor. Click OK. Now, if we want to see how a Revit calculate our rooms, go to the VG or vis visibility and graphic. And here on the model category, go to the rooms. And you can see on this plus icon, we have anterior fill and reference. Just check all of that. Go to the apply and now in this view we can see our rooms. And you can see here the Revit calculate our room from the finish of these walls. What if I want to this calculation is gonna be uh, in the center of our wall. Here in the room and area just click and we have the area and volume computations. Now we can see the options of how Revit is gonna calculate our rooms. Here in the room area computation about the default is set to wall finish. We have the wall center, we have the wall core layer, layer or, or the wall core center. If I go here and go to the wall center and click OK, now you can see our rooms, it's gonna go from the center of the wall. And that is a new calculation for our area. Uh, for that room. And if I have something like this, I select all of these walls and change it to maybe this wall and go here and click to define. Now I have all layers of that wall. Maybe this wall just go in this direction. And you can see here we have the all of layers for that wall. If I go again here to the area and volume computation and click here to the wall core layer and go to the OK, now you can see this. The Revit, it's now calculate our room from the core line or the uh, structural line of our wall without this finish layer that it's gonna be maybe mortar or something like that. And if I go again here, you can set that for a core center. And you can see this is a core center of wall. If I go again here and say to the wall center, that's gonna be on the center of all the layers on in that wall. Now, if I want to add some colors for that, just go here to the color scheme, click and for the category rooms, just add some scheme, maybe from the name. And we have bedroom, corridor, room and terrace. And we have these uh, colors. We can change that. We can change the fill pattern. Maybe on the terrace we want, I don't know, something like cross hatch maybe and go to the apply now we can see the all color for that these are the same color because because we uh, set here the column scheme 
from the name and uh, for all of four room rooms we have the name a room if i just go here and maybe rename that room to the bedroom two now we have the new color for that room and go here maybe rename for the toilet and we have a new color how we can edit that color and uh, more about the color scheme i will be talk about in some of the another video okay if you like this video please subscribe this channel click to the bell for all notifications go to the facebook and instagram page follow that uh, if you have some questions please be free to write below and see you next time